Welcome to Night Sky Notebook for November 2021. My name is Peter Detterlein, and we're here to talk about all the great things that will be happening this month. Let's begin by taking a look at the moon phases. The month begins with a new moon on November 4th, first quarter on the 10th, and full moon, what's called the beaver moon, on November 19th. The Indians gave it that name because beavers are especially prevalent at this time of year as they make their preparations for winter. Sometimes it's also called the frosty moon. Third quarter is November 27. Daylight savings time, November 7. Move your clocks back an hour as we switch back to standard time. And also on November 7, spend that evening taking a look at Venus and the Moon, the two brightest objects in the nighttime sky. Always a joy to see them together. Rather brilliant, you'll have to look low though over in the southwest. If you have a small telescope or a really good pair of binoculars, take a look at them. The crescent shape of the Moon is going to be quite obvious, but Venus also goes through phases. Can you see them with just binoculars? You should be able to. Figure out what the phase of Venus might be. On November 9, get a big sweeping overview of everything that's happening. If you look in the southwest, and we're starting around 6 p.m., you'll see Venus, then you'll see the crescent moon, then Saturn, and Jupiter. And they're all lined up like a string of pearls. Well, the moon will be a rather large one, actually. But if you point to each one, Venus, Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, and continue going across the sky, your hand is going to inscribe the ecliptic, the path of the sun. All of the planets and the moon need to stay close to that path. And you can figure it out just by drawing an imaginary line across the sky with your hand as you connect the dots. Check them out. It's a neat way to take a look at our solar system. Now the moon was with Venus the other day. Now it's catching up to Saturn on November 10 and Jupiter on November 11. So you'll be able to get a chance to see those up close. Jupiter is bright. Venus is going to be a bit brighter, Saturn being the faintest of the three, being so far away. November 17 to 18, dueling meteor showers. We have the Leonids, which are some of the fastest meteors we have, and the Taurids, which are painfully, amazingly slow. The Taurids actually peak around November 3, 4, but they're visible really all month. The Leonids will peak early morning on the 17th, and you can still see them on the 18th. It's really kind of interesting, if you can catch them, to see the fastest and some of the slowest meteors facing each other. Make sure you're warm. Get a chaise lounge and a sleeping bag. Our problem this year is the full moon is going to be on the 19th. So the sky is going to be bright. And you're really not going to see the meteors until, well, after midnight. But if you want to try it, just make sure that you're facing away from the moon and understand you're only going to see the brightest of the meteors. But November 19th is the big event for the month an almost total lunar eclipse. Almost meaning 97% of the moon's disk will be in the Earth's shadow. And a full moon happens, of course, when the moon enters into the Earth's shadow. It doesn't go black. Light is still hitting the Earth's atmosphere and being refracted or bent to strike the moon. How much light? 
that really depends on how much dust and dirt is in our atmosphere at that time. So the color could be anywhere from almost black to disappearing to brown to, to orange to a brick red, a dull red to a yellow orange. We just don't know. And we won't know until the time of the eclipse, depending what volcanoes or wildfires are erupting at that time. This eclipse is so close to being total, it's basically a total eclipse. But you're going to have to get up early. November 19, it starts at 2.18 in the morning, mid-eclipse is at 4.02, and it ends right before dawn at 5.47. Check it out. This is going to be a fantastic sight, always wonderful to see. Get the cameras, get the binoculars, enjoy this. And those are the events for the month. That's it for November 2021. If you want to learn more, check out my blog at Night Sky Notebook at blogspot.com. And until next month, keep looking up.